everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Emma. I'm so sorry, it has taken me, I think, two and a half weeks to upload another video. I am just absolutely nahookered. Work, like I, I said on my last video, work is absolutely kicking my ass, and it still is. We appear to be having somewhat of a boom at work. For those of you that don't know, I'm a midwife, my real job, and we have been so busy at work. We are just, it's just been ridiculous. So consequently, on my days off, I've just kind of sat there going, because uh, uh. <laughs> it is properly properly knackering. So um, I promised you a bit of a sort of capsule wardrobe video of what I'm taking to Cornwall. Uh, let's face it guys, I, I'm, I just can't do a capsule wardrobe. What I've basically done is been up the loft, got my summer stuff out from last year, got a few bits together that I think I might take and and sort of put them together with some of the newer pieces that I've bought and just what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through it together and we're gonna go yay or nay basically as to what we think and what we don't think. Um, I've got my swimming costume on. Um, apologies for hair again. It's, I'm, I'm doing a lot of swimming at the minute. I think I said last time we joined this leisure club. I'm doing a lot of swimming. Oh my God, it's just, my hair is like, I don't know what, I, I don't know whether I need some proper swimming shampoo. I'm not necessarily getting my hair wet when we go swimming, because I'm one of them swimmers that swims like that, and I'm like, swim away from people that splash. <laughs> and um, a child came past me the other day swimming, like dead splashy swimming, and I was like, oh God's sake, I can't be doing with a splashy swimmer. Um, so, so I'm not getting my hair wet, but I don't know whether it's just the water at the pool, when I'm washing my hair afterwards, I don't know. It, it's just not doing what it should be doing at the minute. But I don't know whether that's just because I'm feeling a little bit crap as well, maybe. You know, when you're just having a bit of a... Um, so, yeah, anyway. Um, so what I was going to say, let me just grab my drink, is that, yeah, so the bedroom looks like Dr. Bernardo's charity, charity shop. And I thought what I'd do is put my cosy on so that I can actually sort of do a try on without having to keep stopping, so that I can just take things on and shove things off. Take things off and shove things on. <laughs> and do it that way, if that makes any sense to you. We went up to York last week. It was our wedding anniversary. It was our 19th wedding anniversary, and we were also going to see the university, York St. John's. What a beautiful city. I've not been to York for years. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I mean, I live near to Chester and I thought that was pretty special, but it's just nothing compared to York. So if my son goes to university there, then weekends in York. And we stayed in a beautiful apartment, um, but we went up on Monday morning last week and I just finished nights. I did Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights. Finished nights Monday morning, literally got home, got changed and went. So I kind of walked around in a bit of a zombie-like state on Monday and I was a bit like, mm. um, but I did buy, I went to a chazza, uh, I went to a few chazzas actually, and I wasn't, I wasn't brilliantly impressed. Um, but they're all in one particular area and there's like six of them. And they're really big, the, the shops that they're in are really big, but there's just not a massive amount of stuff in them, I don't think. But I bought a pair of shorts, which I'm going to show you. All I want to say is, why has it taken me to... Well, not why has it taken me, but why have I not realised the wonder of a, a high-waisted short? <laughs> I saw them and I loved them for a reason which will become apparent when you see them and I was like why I tried them on and looked at myself in the mirror and I was like oh my god I actually love them and I thought why have I not worn high-waisted things before I think I, it's because I did it the first time round I wore high-waisted jeans in about 1986 
I remember going to a church camp. I must have been, maybe, was I about 11 maybe? Yeah. And I remember having these navy, like proper navy high-waisted denim jeans. And I used to have this sweatshirt that said bowling alley across the front with like temping bowls on it. And I thought it was dead American and dead cool. I used to tuck that in my high-waisted jeans. I used to have my hair up in a ponytail and then I had a thing around it which looked like a walnut whip but it was silver and it opened and then you clipped it around your ponytail. I don't know if anybody else ever had one or whether they were just a Stoke-on-Trent thing. So my ponytail used to start from about there and go like that. It's like her, it used to look like her men people with a big mass of curls. And I used to wear iridescent, well like it was almost white, white sheer shimmery white lipstick that must make God, I can't speak today. But she used to make my teeth look really yellow. But I didn't care because everybody was wearing it. Bit of blue, electric blue eye, um, mascara. And white socks and like Doc Martini type shoes. What a dude. <laughs> Who would have thought that I would ever end up on YouTube potentially giving a bit of fashion advice? <laughs> and I remember having a key ring. Does anybody remember Pepe jeans? P-E-P-E, -P -E. it was spelled Pepe jeans. And they used to do, like, again, I don't know whether some things are nationwide or whether some things are just a Stoke thing. Because I've said things to people before and although Chester's not a million miles from Stoke, they've gone, no, that didn't happen here. <laughs> but I used to have this Pepe key ring and it was red and blue. And it was like one of them that you could hook, oh my voice, you could like press the thing down, it opened and you could hook it on your belt loop. So I used to hook it on my belt loop with my front door key dangling off it. And on all the photographs I've got from this church youth camp, which was in Sussex, I've got my front door key dangling off my belt loop. Why? Why have I got my belt loop? Why have I got my door key hanging off my belt loop? <laughs> 300 miles away from home. But it's because it was trendy. So that's what I did. So what I'm trying to say is, looking back on them photographs and seeing myself in these bloody high-waisted foul jeans, Kind of when the high-waisted thing came back round again, I was like, oh no, I'm not going there again. But I have. And I love them. My dad, hi dad, has been watching my videos and he says, now, he'll try something on, he'll go, I bloody love it. He says, because it's all you say. He says, you'll try something on, you go, I absolutely bloody love it. <laughs> and I'm aware that I do it now. I'm dead conscious of it. But I, I bloody love these shorts. So what I'm gonna do, I bought some shorts and I bought a dress. I know I said I wouldn't go charity shop shopping, but some things are total bargains and you just can't leave them there because you won't ever see them again. I think I pay four pound for the dress and I pay three pound for the shorts. And that's it. My son has bought a load of stuff from charity shops when he's been with me the last few times. Um, but this isn't about him, this is about us and going on holiday. So what I'm basically going to do is try my stuff on, try it with different things and just sort of play about with it really but on camera and to say whether I would or whether I wouldn't or what I would wear it for or so some of it you will have seen before because it's from hauls from you know the times I've done hauls and some of you won't have seen it before because it's been stuck in the loft and or I've just like grabbed it out of the wardrobe. So um yeah, so I'll slip, have a slip of this tea. But yeah, I thought I'd, I'd keep my costume on and then I don't have to keep coming up to the video and pausing it. And I've tried to put you at a better angle so when I stand on my stool, you can actually see my feet rather than, because I, I know a lot of you worry about me standing on that stool. I have tried to make it so I don't have to stand on it. But I'm the, 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 my windowsill's really high and you're the, it's the only place I can put you. Um, so I have to. So my beautiful mug from Emma Bridgewater, it's the Rose and Bee. I absolutely love this. I did have two, but now I've only got one. <laughs> but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> I did have four lovely wine goblets as well, now I've only got three. And I had two beautiful water, um, what are they called? The water, gob, not gob, tumblers. Now I've only got one. <laughs> That's the problem though, you can't just go and replace them, can you? Because they're like 30 quid or something ridiculous. So, you know, it's... Um, so it does properly break your heart when, when you do break one. Right, costume, the swimming costume I'm wearing, put that back there, is a tankini. I probably wouldn't <clears throat> wear this. It does have, 
neck thing, but a couple of the things that I'm wearing will be strappy so you won't need it. So it's um, it's a tankini with big knickers. So I do like, can, where do I have my shorts on? What a knob. I need to get some um, Saint Tropez just there. <laughs> we'll just move that out of the way. So um, yeah, I went swimming in this. It does, like I say, it has got, um, oh, it has got a, a strap like that. So it is really nice. And I went swimming in it last week just to our local pool. And it I could it was ride it, ride it up and ride it up. And I was like, oh Jesus Christ. So and when I sat in the jacuzzi, it was like <laughs> like all bubbling up all underneath. I thought I can't be having that. So um I for the purposes of the video it's absolutely fine, but I don't think I could wear it for going in the sea and things like that I just because I think it would ride up and I think I'd probably be a bit too conscious although it is really high and I did think if I saw a nice sort of bikini like a longer bikini top I might buy buy it I don't know but I haven't I, well I saw one but it was a bit too short and my belly is so white it never sees the light of day you can see where I cover up when I sunbathe <laughs> from there to there <laughs> So, um, yeah, but it's, I mean, it's its not the most flattering thing I've ever worn in my life. Because it's not, it doesn't hold you in. I think it, it looks better when you, oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, so the dress is, oh, it wasn't £4 at all, what a liar. It was £5.50 and it was from the British Red Cross. I had this from, I can't remember which British Red Cross shop it was. Oh, was it not might have been Knutsford actually last week? Um, let me just put it on the right way. It's by a company called Completo, which I've, ne I've never heard of, and I've not I've not looked online, so I don't know whether it's a thing. But it's just got a very very thin stripe. Now, there's a few ways, really, that you can, do you know, wearing a swimming costume under things does not give you a nice silhouette. Maybe it's a thing I need to start doing. Um, so, that's the dress. I, obviously, that I keep saying, you know, when you watch your videos back, and I'm like, and these are the shorts. Well, obviously, they're the bloody shorts. So, <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> the dress is, is this. <laughs> Um, but I just think it's really nice. It's kind of a bit of that like lagoon looky type thing. I just think it's really pretty. I really like the length of it. But what I thought about doing when I when I had it on the other day, just look in the mirror. So when I had it on the other day, I sort of did that with it, so that it just made it a little bit shorter. And I thought that for over over a swimming costume do you like to see the length the hem sort of it sort of goes in and then it sort of goes down at the front and down at the back and I really like it and it's dead dead floaty so I thought that that was a really really nice little thing to wear and it's dead casual and I thought well I could it's one of those things so bear with so I'm on I'm on my holidays Oh, for God's sake, there's so much shite on this bed. I haven't got my white flip-flops wearing up. Bear with. Where my white flip-flops? Hang on a moment. You know you can only find one? Oh, God! Where's the other flip-flop? Flip-flop, where are you? Oh, I don't really know, is it? Jesus Christ. It'll be absolute now, there we go. Absolutely nowhere near the other flip-flop. Right. Flip flops from Hollister. Oh, look how filthy they are. So long ago, they're probably five, six years old, something like that. So I've got my flip flops on. So I've got my swimming costume on, I've got my flip flops on, I've got my dress on. Going to the beach. Right, beach bag. Beach bag. Beach bag. Sunglasses. Sunglasses sunglasses right now what do you think about this i've got a hat because, oh, i keep going on about how dirty these are right my hat what do you think are you ready look like an utter cock in this 
<laughs> Look at that. I can't see where I'm going. I have to walk around like that. It needs... Well, if it's like that, I look ridiculous. If it's like that, I look like a cowboy. But it's been folded funny in the loft. <laughs> but I think if I was on the beach and I was reading, I think that would be... I think that's acceptable. Like that. <laughs> but I don't know. I think there's probably nicer hats out there. It's, I look like, oh, it's a bit pointy on the top. Anyway, let's do without the hat. <laughs> let's just go with glasses and factor 50. So yeah, so really like that. And then, so that's, let me show you with flip-flops. So that's just me in flip-flops. And then I tried it on with this. So I put it, did I put it back down to where it was? I think I did. So let me just put it back to there. And I've got a jumper which I bought from a charity shop a couple of years ago. And it's by a company called Postcard, or Postcard from Brighton. And I, Dad, I bloody love it. <laughs> so it's a big grey star on the front and uh, yeah so I was thinking that you could maybe I could maybe shove that over there you know if we were sort of going out of an evening and it was just a little bit chilly I could maybe do that however if I particularly wanted to dress it up then I've got some sparkly flip-flops, which are from Primark. Well, my mum got them from Primark. I got them out of her wardrobe. <laughs> um, and then I've got a belt, which is just a stretchy gold belt. It's got a buckle, but I don't particularly like the buckle. So what I was thinking, I can see how this stripes on this video are very aren't really doing it. <laughs> Stripes and dirt uh, film doesn't really match, does it? And then I was thinking, tuck that in, and then, oh, silver bag. Silver bag. Oh, blimey, I'm roasting. And then I've got, oh, I'm still coming in, sandal. Little sparkly sandals, and the little, just think, oh, just need to pull that down. I just think that's quite sweet with the gold and all the silver together. And then, because the, the shoes are gold, but they've got like silver diamante, I thought that that would be sort of quite a, a funky thing to wear. I don't know whether it's going to be a bit, probably a bit too, almost maybe a bit too dressy from a holiday. I don't know. But I do love it. Um, so, oh, I can't get out of the bag. So that was that. Right, let me shove over there the things that I have worn. Um, so, the next thing, oh, the next thing, let me keep that on. Let me just roll it down again, because I think I prefer the length of it when it's been rolled down like that. And then I've got a white t-shirt, which I bought from Zara. No, which I bought from a charity shop, but it was originally from Zara. Cropped white t-shirt, which again, you could wear, or I could wear with that, just for wandering round. I've either got sparkly silvery converse, or I've got white converse. So either of those would go, I think. And then again, if it was more of an evening, because this is probably as dressy as I would get in Cornwall of a night time. Um, so, yeah, I think that would probably work. Um, and then if it was a little bit chilly, um, oh, that there. This is my sea salt cardigan, which I've had, again, for a couple of years. Um, and I think that that would probably be okay with it, do you think? So, um, I don't know, you know, to be honest, I don't like that. That's what 
it, that's why you have to sort of try stuff on and go, mm, yeah, I like it with that, don't like it with that. But I think that together would be really nice. Denim jacket. I was to try that with my denim jacket. Let's have a little look at that. Because I will take my denim jacket on holiday with me because I always do. Yeah, I think that looks better. If I needed something over my arms, I definitely would probably wear, I definitely would probably, <laughs> I would definitely wear that as opposed to the um, jumper, it's all rolled up. So that's the problem with the tankini, the bottom half rolls up. Right, so, so that's that t-shirt. So I'm definitely, definitely going to take this dress and I'm definitely going to take that t-shirt okay so they are two things i'm going to take now one of the other things is this which i bought last year and this fitted me lovely last year but not so much this year i don't really think it's like a little play suit and it's originally from h&m and again i had it from a charity shop and it's just one of those things that you possibly Oh, I'm all rolled. I'm all, <laughs> I'm all rolling up. Oh, again, it's oh, Jesus, God. It's one of them things that could probably. It's got a little tie around the middle. Could you wear that in the day? Do you think? Is it too? It's got pockets. Is it a bit too short? Is it okay? I actually think that's quite nice. Um. Yeah, quite like that. I don't think, um, I don't feel too bad in it. I don't feel too conscious. The um, the leg length isn't too short. So I like that. If I had to wear, again, it's just about mixing and matching what I'm taking. So if I had to wear a top over it, or I was a bit conscious that my shoulders were burning or something, I could always, do that which actually looks quite nice I like wearing this top over something that isn't just ending there because I'm very conscious when I lift up that you'll see but actually wearing it like that it, it doesn't really matter because you're not do you understand what I mean you're not going to see all your midriff not that it would be the end of the world if my midriff was on show it's just it's so white, I mean I could definitely do with, you know, a bit of a fake tan around the middle area. So that's just with flip-flops. Um, yeah, that's, again, that's quite a, a nice little outfit and, you know, of an evening, maybe, with silver, they are, little silver flip-flops. And my little silver bag, would I wear that at night? Very, very probably, if it was absolutely cracking the flags, little sil sparkly flip-flops. Um, yeah, probably could get away with that. So again, that's another thing I could wear. Um, oh, God, right. So I'm definitely gonna be taking the dress. Definitely taking the white t-shirt. I've got the yellow t-shirt here which is the same as the white t-shirt. I think it's quite important when you're going away and you're only going for a week and you're wanting to, to limit the amount of clothes that you take to stick to a colour palette and my colour, see I quite like that as well, that's something a little bit different. I like, I like the shorts, I like them because they're not tight They've got pockets, I like the pattern, they're dead soft, they're dead stretchy. So yeah, I do, uh, I think I've got this laser of wasps outside, but there's a bloody nice, you know. So I think even, I think that looks quite nice as well. I don't take trousers or jeans on holiday when I go in the summer. I'll come and grab me drink. For the simple reason that if it rains, well, it's just easy to dry your legs. And what I think is that, yes, I'm going 
on a holiday date in this country and it may very well rain but I don't think it's going to be cold so I've, I'm, I'm a bit more reluctant to take jeans or trousers or whatever because I just, I just know I won't wear them I've gone through so many holidays and not worn them and I'd rather go out for a walk with this on and my raincoat and my flip flops and come back and just be able to dry my legs rather than having denim stuck to me, which is, there's nothing worse, um, in my opinion, than wet denim. I'm sure there are a lot of things worse than wet denim. <laughs> like, you know, murder and stuff like that. <laughs> I've also got, let me show you these, a little pair of sandals which are again from a charity shop they're really really pretty they've not got a lot to them um but again that's something else that i could ooh, shove on with my um oh just open them really lazy man you can't be arsed can you when you're getting them on and off all the time you just don't want to be opening them oh oh Right, so, oh god, so there's that as well, and they are the little sandals, which actually don't look too bad. So there's another really quite um, versatile outfit, and if I just fancied, if it wasn't too bad and I just wanted to wear it like that, and I've got my little sandals on. And I've got my little bag over, and we could just wander around like that, and that would be okay. So, that's quite a versatile piece, I think. Yet, when I pulled it out of the loft, and I tried it on for the first time, because it doesn't fit me like it fit me last year, and I've got photographic evidence to prove that, because I was slimmer last year, I was a bit like, oh, I can't wear that then. But actually, I think... I, I, I like that anyway, I've uh, gone on about that for far too long. Um, <laughs> oh, I've tied it around the middle. So, how are we doing? Are we alright? So that's the dress, the yellow t-shirt, the white t-shirt and this. And that is like, the dress can be worn in the day over my costume and then I could wear it at night with sparkly sandals and my silver bag. The same with this, even though I would never have thought it 20 minutes ago. So that's that. And then, what else have I got here? Ah, these are the shorts of dreams. These were three pound from the RSPCA shop. I look like I'm, I look like a nude when I stand there like that. <laughs> they are a size 16. I think they were originally from Matalan. And I'm going to put them on. They're high-waisted. Honestly, when I tried them on, a choir of angels should have been singing outside the changing room because these shorts are beautiful. If I do say so myself. I just absolutely flipping love them. They've got a little bit of ripped detail there. That ripped detail and that ripped detail the pocket lining is there and then obviously that one's my leg but it's so sort of there's no big holes in the ripped part um they've got a pom-pom trim around the bottom they are quite short but they're not too short i i'm i'm aware that if they were any shorter like if they were sort of like that and you can see that part of your thigh i don't like that but i really like them um yeah, and I think they're, they're not dead tight at the back there. The thing I like about them is that they're not. They haven't got it, like Alastine in them or whatever it's called. I find sometimes I've bought shorts, and my other denim shorts, have got a lot of Alast Alast Alastine, Alastine in them. Making them stretchy anyway, but they just go too big. Whereas I think these will probably just hold me in a little bit. This is a cheapo, cheapo sun top that I think my mum gave me. Um, now, I would never normally tuck anything in to my shorts 
because my denim shorts, I tried them on for you in my last video actually, they are quite low slung on the waist and I do get a bit of a, a muffin top with them. But with these, I'm just, I think that that looks, I just think it looks, it looks okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not like, I know I'm not super skinny and I know I've got curves and I know that some people probably wouldn't feel confident wearing them. And to be fair, I haven't left the house in them yet, <laughs> but I think that all in all, with a bit of fake tan on the back of my legs, because you can see that I only ever sit facing the sun like that and the backs are white. But I actually think that having the top tucked into the bottoms actually looks, makes me look a little bit slimmer. So there's that. So I think, I'm not sure whether I would definitely take that because it's black and the pom pom trim is blue. So I'd probably be looking for a blue sun top, which I don't think I own. I own a lot of things, but I don't own a blue sun top. However, I have got this, which I found in a charity shop. I've had this for years. I know I wore this when we went to see Ed Sheeran in concert and that is about five years ago. So, in fact, about as longer ago than that, about it's about six years ago. Um, and it's just a double layered sun top with lace trim around the bottom and a bit of a lacy back and the, again I just think that's it's quite nice because it's not too tight um, so if I was feeling a little bit conscious then I could wear that and, and not feel like everybody's staring not that everybody's staring but do you understand what I mean and I just think that that probably even that looks quite nice as well so um, and then so I like, I liked that when I tried that on again, because again, that's been in the loft for ages. Um, and then I was thinking if it was maybe a little bit of a miserable, oh, that's a hang <laughs> If it was a little bit of a miserable day, because you're in Cornwall, oh, turn down. Because you're in Cornwall, you've got to wear stripes. And I love, this is from Jules. This is actually from Jules. It's probably, one of the few things I own that is actually from the actual shop. Um, but I was thinking that I could just wear, <laughs> I could just wear that with it. And I think that looks quite nice. Just long sleeved. Um, again, you know, it's, um, could to be worn with other things as well, which she says, actually, I don't know whether it would be, because I'm not sure what else I've got to wear with it. So if it was just a little bit of a cooler day, then I could wear that. Um, and if it was a rainy day, oh, my coat's, oh, it is. Um, oh, you see, I've got this. this. This comes on every holiday with me. Every single, every single summer holiday. I've got a photograph of me wearing this, which is my super dry hoodie, which I don't think goes, that's too dressy, but I do like the hoodie. Um, can you hear how out of breath I am? The um, mirrors in the gym, well, the mirrors in the swimming pool, changing rooms, are the most unflattering mirrors in the world, I think, they're to cut because it's a gym as well. I think they're to make you look in them and go, God, I really need to keep paying for this membership. Because, oh my God, I honestly look in them and think, dear God. And then I get home in exactly the same outfit and think, oh well, I'm all right. <laughs> honestly, I look about that wide in the mirrors. So yeah, so this is the raincoat that I would take. You've seen this before, I've put this on another video. Uh, it's from Cuba Sales, which is a Cornish company, I think. And that's, again, just what I would probably shove on with my uh, flip-flops. If we were going out and it was a little bit of a rainy day, flip-flops on, and it was just a bit cool and a bit rainy, I would probably just wear that. Um, and then, and then that top, 
I could probably, see what I don't want to do is, I don't want to take something that I'm probably only going to wear once. And although I do love this top and I do absolutely love it, it's, am I just going to wear it once? I have got a dress here, I'm wondering whether I could wear it over the dress maybe, I don't know. Um, let me just have a, I'm not going to show you boobs, am I? <laughs> let me just have a little play. This is a dress from the White Company. I picked it up in a charity shop uh, for, I think I paid about £10 for it and I've had it for about four years, three or four years. And it's sort of cotton, sort of cotton, it's cotton, but it's like broad anglais. And it's really pretty, but it's very stretchy. And again, I think that's, I'm just going to have to pull that down, it's all riding up. Um, I think that's a nice dress to take. Do you know what this would actually probably, <laughs> actually probably, definitely would be, a nice dress for travelling in because it's really comfortable and because it's so stretchy and it doesn't dig in anywhere there's no buttons there's no zips um if we got there and it was a little bit chilly i could wear my well i'm taking my raincoat so if we got there and it was pouring down does that look okay with it i'm hoping it won't be pouring down but yeah i could get away with that and my converse and my flip-flops um, and then, you see it's whether you could even wear something like this if you wanted to change the look up. If I was down there we were going out, then could I make it look like a skirt? I honestly think this is what you've got to do with all your clothes. You've just got to really play around with everything. feel quite chunky like that because it's all I'm all a bit there uh, we don't like that <laughs> but I do honestly think this is how you've got to do it this is what you've got to do um oh I have got let's see if I grab that back out because I will take this with me because I take it everywhere and that would probably be see that's quite nice and I put my little seagull badge on that and wear that like that so yeah quite like that so I'm basically going to be thinking about taking dresses and shorts and tops but not too many I won't take too many at all um, I've got my see I found God, guys you're really gonna have to help me out here and tell me what, <laughs> what to take I will take this, which you've seen before. This is my Zara dress, which I spilt. I had a calippo earlier when I was wearing it, and it's all gone down the front of it. So, <laughs> I'll just wipe my lipstick off on it as well, so it doubly needs washing now. Um, oh, God, it's going to be everlasting. So that's, I would wear for the beach. I would wear that over the top of a swimming costume. I would put this cardigan on with it, without a doubt, because I think mustard and navy and white looks lovely together. So I would wear that. So if we were going out in an evening, probably do it like that. And I could wear those shoes. I think I'm going to have to leave ye old silver espadrilles here for the fact that, um, I know you all saw that they were, it's just gotten so much bigger and last weekend I wore them in York and they were falling off my feet all the time because they were getting too big. So, yeah, so I, I, I think that looks really nice and that would look nice with them. And that maybe I don't know. Could you could you wear a stripy top over the top? Who knows? Let's give it a go. Oh, I'll tell you what, I have got there. I've got a jumper. I just I just really don't know. I don't know what to take. 
So you could almost do that and pretend that you were just wearing a dress. So I don't suppose it would really matter. I could even put my big brown belt around the middle of that. It's exactly the same, although looking in the mirror, I hate it. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's, um, yeah, but this, this dress is, is just going to be great over... Um, over stuff. I've got a long sleeve t-shirt here. So, oh god. I'll try this on. It's very difficult when you're going down to Cornwall because you know you're not going a million miles away. So you're not in, you know, you're in civilization, so you can get things if you forget things. But um so even something like that and then you make it into a bit more of a skirt, quite like that. Um, I don't like that, how you can see that neck there, I'm so fussy. Um, so maybe, I don't know, a different sort of top, but to turn that into a skirt, I do think looks quite nice. And I think I would probably, I could probably do that. Um, I don't think I would take this long sleeve t-shirt, I just don't think I'd wear it. Um, what else have I got to try on? See, I've got another dress as well, which is a Kath Kitston one from forever ago. Um, you see, everything I've tried on has been navy or white, and I'm sticking to that. I'm sticking to that colour palette. Ugh. Oh my lord. Oh. Mind you, it's because I haven't done the bloody zip. That's why I think my top's just fell down. No, no, it hasn't. Um, so this is a dress from Kath Kitston. I've had this again. I think I had this from the 40s. Or part of the 40s of my husband. Um, I used to wear dresses like this all the time. And I, I don't so much now. Because I don't know whether I think they're a bit frumpy I do I, I, I do really like it but I don't know if I took it away with me how much I'd wear it so it's all it's a bit difficult isn't it but then if I was to put it on with that I do I love mustard and navy together It is pretty, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd wear it um, because when we go on holiday, we basically we spend all our days on the beach, and then we just we either we go out for tea, maybe a couple of times, but the rest of the time we cook in the apartment, we eat like on the beach and stuff, and we're just dead casual. So. It's really difficult sort of knowing what to, to take. Um, but yeah, and then I'm not going to try my massage dress on again. Oh, I will because you may not have seen it last time. If this is the first time you've watched my videos and this will be... This was from a charity shop. I paid £10 for this dress. And I absolutely adore it. And I just think... With, I wear a little white vest underneath. And with my card again. Yeah. And then I could wear any of the... I love that. So I would definitely wear that. <laughs> over that. Definitely. I know I would. Um, so... And then there's just another... Let me try... There's this which I might just take just for lounging around the apartment in and you know we've got a balcony and if I'm just out of the shower and want to have a bit of a read on the balcony then I could. It is probably something because the shorts are quite short. Oh I think I've got it on backwards. <laughs> Gist, it's probably one of those things that I would wear on the balcony. Um, sort of that's better. Whew, 
on the balcony or pop into the shop for two minutes. I don't know. I get a, I don't know whether I feel it's just too short. I don't know what do you think? Should I, should I, should I be bothered? Is it? You see how flat my hair's gone throughout this video because I'm absolutely freaking roasting. Um, and it's flattering and it is nice. Is it too short? Should I wear it out? Out? <laughs> it's just, it's really, really difficult. So, um, I'm not, I'm not going to take that. Much as I do like it, I don't wear it. I think probably girls and guys that needs to go. Um, I, I'm going to take my jewels top with the star on because I love it and I know that once I get down to Cornwall and if I haven't got a jewels top on because everybody in Cornwall basically looks like jewels are thrown up on them, don't they? So <laughs> I will regret not taking a little bit of a la jewels. I will take my stripy dress because those two t-shirts that I've got, the cropped white and the cropped yellow, I've tried them on before with that and they look really good. So I'll take them, I'll take the Maasai dress. I can wear that with the mustard cardigan. Then I can wear the mustard cardigan over everything else. Um, and then it's gonna be a case of the shorts, definitely. Look out for maybe a, a couple of little navy sun tops. Um, and then, yeah, I'll definitely take that play suit. I'll definitely take the mustard and the yellow t-shirt. I'll definitely take that. The cardigan, that'll come with me. Um, my raincoat. And... Oh, and probably that white sort of vesty thing. I might travel in the white company dress because I could wear that, I could put flip flops on while I'm traveling and I could just throw them on when we get there. Probably if I'm walking around. My flip flops are all right, but if I go on too big a walk, they hit between my toes. So yeah, I think, and then obviously silver bag, beach bag or sort of town bag, I could do with a proper beach bag really. Um, and that's probably me done. I don't think I'd, oh, <laughs> I don't think I would take another, would I take another pair of shorts? I've got another pair of denim shorts, but I sh you saw them in another video, they're a little bit lower. I do like them, but I don't know whether they, I just would favour to wear them instead. Um, oh, it's all, it's all a big, it's just so confusing, isn't it, when, you, when you're going on holiday in this country. So, I'll come and sit back down. So that was it. I'm absolutely freaking roasting. My tea's gone cold, my coffee's gone cold. I don't know whether you like that style of video, just kind of keeping going, or whether you prefer me stopping and starting and a bit more edited. Um, <laughs> it's, it's been a video more for me than for you, just to kind of go... I don't think I want to take that, I think I want to take that, I don't know what I'm doing about that. I hope if you've got anything similar in your wardrobes, it's maybe giving you a bit of an idea of what to wear it with and how to wear it. Um, and just about sort of feeling confident in what you are wearing really. So yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And, um, and I will see you all in my next video. So take lots of care and see you soon. Lots of love. Bye.